Hi, welcome to HowToStats.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to perform a two by one contingency table analysis. Uh, my hunch is that a lot of people out there have come across two by two contingency table analyses and have seen demonstrations of, of such an analysis. But what about the case where you only want to examine uh, or test statistically the difference between two levels of a nominal measured variable? And there's only um, there's only two there are two groups across one level, uh, so it's a two by one contingency table analysis. So in this fictitious case that I'm going to demonstrate for you, it's a uh, handedness that I'm examining. In particular, I'm interested in testing the hypothesis that there are more right-handers than left-handers in the population. Now, most people probably have a good hunch that there are, but how would you test it statistically? How would you test only two groups? as being different statistically. Now, I've uh, got a sample size of 250 people, and let's just say they uh, reported on a questionnaire whether they were left-handed or right-handed, and I've got a so sample of 250. Uh, right-handers are uh, have a uh, number label of 0, and left-handers have been inputted as 1s. So I've got 22 individuals who uh, nominated themselves as left-handers and the remainder of the sample as right-handers. Now to look at the percentages, that's easy to do in SPSS. You go into frequencies and you simply add that variable in there and it'll automatically tell you the percentages. Uh, so 91% of the sample that I've got is right-handed, which actually corresponds pretty closely to, to what, the, uh, what other research has found. And I've got 8.8 .8 people, 88.8% uh, that are left-handed. Now, how do you test this difference statistically? It's usually not good enough just to report the percentages. We want to have a, a p-value associated with this. Now, I suspect most people would go into analyze, descriptive, and cross-tabs analysis, but this won't do it for you because cross-tabs can only work. Uh, minimally in a two by two design. When you only have a two by one design, if you put that into rows, you don't get the OK as highlighted. And if you put it into columns, you also don't get it highlighted. So what can you do to test this hypothesis? Well, it's actually a little bit um, tricky, I guess. You've got to go into non-parametric tests, and then go into legacy dialogues, and then go into chi-square. All right, and then we can put handedness into the test variable list, and then the OK becomes highlighted. Now I can test the difference between these two groups for statistical significance. Just click OK. And what SPSS gives us two output, uh, output tables. One is the difference between observed and expected frequencies. So there were 228 right-handers, but based on the null hypothesis, we'd expect 125. So 100, 250 divided by 2. If, if the population uh, is 50-50, and the, uh, if the null hypothesis is true, uh, then we should see 125 within sampling variations in both uh, right-hander and left-hander uh, cells. But we don't. What we see is a big difference. Now, this residual of 103 by subtracting one from the other 228 minus 125 gives 103 and negative 103 for lefters, left-handers. Well, this, the difference between the observed and, and the expected is tested with this chi-square statistic, which is exactly the same as the 2 by 2 in the contingency table analysis that SPSS gives us through this more obvious utility, this through the cross-tabs. It's the same analysis. It's only that you can do uh, a 2 by 1 in this non-parametric approach. You got to go into non and then legacy dialogues chi-square. All right, and so the statistical significance is very statistically significant. In fact, I can double click on it and, and force SPSS to push out the cells. Um, I wonder if it'll be actually, I wonder if 11 will be sufficient. Nah, it'll have to go pretty far. Let's just say it's very, very statistically significant, p less than 0 .000001. Uh, and the chi-square is equal to 169.74 with one degree of freedom. So that's how you test the difference between um, two groups in terms of frequencies. And I'll also note, just as, an en as a comment, is that it necessarily implies that the percentages that I tested, these two percentages, 91.2 versus 8.8, .8, it necessarily implies that those percentages are also statistically significant. So you often find people saying, 
on on Google on the internet, you find people asking, "How do you test percentages? The differences between percentages and SPSS?" And there doesn't seem to be an obvious way. Well, this is how you do it because the, the the difference between the frequencies is gives you the same answer theoretically as the difference between the percentages. So you could actually say the difference between the percentages was statistically significant and just report this chi-square. So in summary, this is how you do a two by one um, between groups uh, contingency table analysis in SPSS. Hope you found it useful. Catch you next time.